Well, I'm Keith Edmiston. I'm a professor in, in uh, the crop science department here in NC State. And I teach a class called Seeds, Biotechnology, and Society. And one of the exercises that I, that I have my students do is we set up a scenario. Uh, they work in groups. And I tell them in each one of their groups in this scenario, they have been hired to take over on January 1 to take over a large auto repair shop. Um, and the caveat is, in this repair shop, they've been tasked with coming up with a plan to be able to double repairs in the next year. Well, that sounds bad enough, but I also give them one more uh, restriction, and that is that as of January 1, socket wrenches are no longer going to be legal in North Carolina. Uh, so people, uh, I guess, hurt themselves pinching their hands, uh, putting a socket uh, into a ratchet. And so they're not going to be able to use this tool. Now they'll have the other tools that they're uh, uh, available for use, things like crescent wrenches or adjustable wrenches, uh, channel locks, vice grips, various pliers. Um, and for a lot of the jobs that you could do with a ratchet uh, and a socket set, you could do with, with some of these tools. Certainly not as quickly. One of, the, one of the great things about a ratchet wrench is that in, with the ratchet you're able to uh, use the speed of the ratcheting uh, uh, to speed up uh, taking bolts off or putting bolts on. Um, the other thing that's, that they're going to miss is the precision of this of these sockets. I know my dad when I was growing up on the farm and we were working on pieces of equipment, he used to get mad at me if I used a adjustable wrench because he was always afraid I was going to round off the top of the bolts. Uh, same thing. Certainly he did not like to see me using vice grips. Um, so uh, some of the, I'll share some of some of the thoughts that the groups come up with on how they're going to suggest that this auto repair shop be able to double its load in the next year without using uh, any kind of socket sets uh, with ratchets. And uh, some of the groups will come up with things like, well, we're going to increase the space, double the space of the auto repair shop. Uh, others come up with ideas like, well, we're going to increase the hours. We're going to run a second or maybe even a third shift. Others come up with ideas, well, we're going to have to hire more people. But you can see that things are not going to be as uh, efficient. Uh, it's going to be hard to do in the same shop to fix twice the amount of automobiles, especially if we lose this tool. Uh, and, of course, there are some jobs that don't require any kind of a wrench. You use a screwdriver on some jobs, but a lot of jobs are going to be impeded pretty badly by not having this socket and the speed and the precision this socket uh, offers a mechanic. Uh, and I think that's a good analogy to genetic engineering. Genetic engineering is a tool, just like this socket set, uh, the breeders use to improve crops. Uh, there are other tools they use, conventional breeding, mutagenesis, uh, even within conventional breeding, not only do you have just crosses and mutagenesis, hybrid uh, development, you also have uh, opportunities in some cases to cross with uh, closely related species or with wild, um, uh, wild plants uh, of the same species. Uh, so there's a lot of different tools that, that plant uh, breeders have. And even within genetic engineering, just like you've got deep sockets and you've got short sockets and you've got angled, uh, uh, you, can, you can add an additional segment here t so that you can angle uh, your sockets to get to hard places. Genetic engineering includes various different tools, including 
what you would traditionally think of moving a gene from one organism to another, say from a bacteria into a, a corn plant. Um, also, uh, silencing genes with RNAi interference. Uh, at gene editing, whether it's deletion or addition, uh, or changing of genes with CRISPR or Talon technology. So there's a lot of tools that fall under the genetic engineering uh, umbrella also. And these tools are in general faster and more precise than our older, more conventional breeding tools are. But they're all very uh, necessary in a certain place, just like you got to have a screwdriver sometimes. Uh, sometimes it's really nice to have a socket. So thanks for watching.